Well, hello. Um, I'm going to make a video today about what to do with your 4AG about filtering the air. Because running open trumpets is, is fun, but when you're driving every day in dusty places, it's good to put a filter on it. So one of the filters that I used was uh, one of these uni filters. So one, one for each trumpet. Uh, it looked really cool, uh, but all of a sudden one day the car ran like crap and it wouldn't rev any higher than 6,000 RPMs. And I found it, it sucked in the inside filter and I even did the whole th trick about, you know, getting them up high. But for me, it ended up being a space limitation because you can see it ends up being a little tight up against the firewall. So the, the filter that I ended up finding was one made by Piper Cross. And I got it because it said that it could easily fit a 100 millimeter trumpet inside of it and it's supposed to filter really well. Uh, but the big thing that I liked about it, if you look on the inside, it has kind of like a, a chicken wire in the inside. So it keeps the foam filter element away from the trumpet even at full throttle, which the uni filters just couldn't do. Uh, it comes with a mounting bracket and it's supposed to be, you know, just pull on and off. But the issue that I have here is that you can't really get this big filter over these trumpets. And I didn't want to give up the power benefit that you get from having a hundred millimeter trumpets. I'll show you how I get those trumpets aligned. And these are the Techno uh, Toy Tuning Trumpets. So those ones don't come with pre preset holes, so you have to align them yourself. So this is the tool that will make putting on the trumpets a lot easier and a way that you can actually make sure that the trumpets are on straight. Because there's no point in putting trumpets if they're not going to be aligned right. So now that you have the trumpets off, uh, you have to put the mounting bracket on. This is for the Piper Cross filter. Now something important that you're going to want to do with the filter is to oil it. Um, this kit in particular came with the k and oiling kit. So you just kind of spray it on and it helps catch some of the smaller stuff in the filter. Place the Piper Cross filter essentially in place where you're going to have it sit, like usual, like so. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be slipping in the trumpets through the side in here and then bolting them while they're within the filter. Now, without the inspection camera, this would be impossible to get the trumpets on straight. But since we have the inspection camera, you kind of get to see how that's going to make it make things happen. So as you can see right now, the spot that I put it in, from the outside looks like the trumpet might be sitting normal, but on the inside you can see there's a big gap in there. So just kind of gonna work to slide the trumpet until it's right in place. That's looking pretty good. Oh, I think I bumped it off the winder. There we go. Tighten that up. Now if we look around the gap, it's nice and nice and tight with it. And then you just tighten the uh, the bottom, the top hole for it, the top bolts, and then keep going with each one. So we move on to the next one. And I will say it's, it's nice to have handy a little five millimeter Allen key like this. It's small that can fit into the tight spaces. So now we're on the, the last part. All the trumpets are in, they're all nice and aligned. Uh, with this Piper Cross filter, you need to get the bottom clipped in first before you can clip in the top. So you need to kind of feel it around. It's got to fit just right into it. So 
So now the last move is you put these little clips on the bracket. So these are the quick clips right here. They're gonna kind of slip in like so, and then you just twist them to lock in and they lock into their little bracket there. So there's the filter installed. Uh, it looks not as, not as flashy and blingy as the, the uni filters did. But I, I drove in the uni filters probably about a thousand miles before I finally like tore one of the inside filters out and became a problem. And I have to say like after 6,000 RPMs you really could feel the engine getting choked out with these. And I've heard a lot of people say that too, uh, these uni ones, that they tend to limit flow just because there's not enough surface area on the inside with how much air that this engine is sucking in. So they look really cool. But I'm not sure that they work that well. So if you're looking for a filter, I'd say don't even bother wasting your time on these guys. These guys are for looks and they're probably going to choke your engine like they did with mine. But with the Piper Cross, I'll say, I can't even say if I feel a difference between running an open trumpet and running the Piper Cross filter because there's a lot of surface area in there and, it, and that mesh keeps the filter element away from the trumpets. So you get good airflow through it. And I've driven about 1,500 miles on the Piper Cross filter, and it's worked like a champ. And if you use that trick with the inspection camera, you can actually get it on in this car. Uh, this would probably be similar to like the AE-101 and the AE-111 and the AE-92. Uh, next video I'm going to do is going to be me changing out the VVT cam, co uh, cam gear. Uh, mine's making a little bit of a rattle. Um, when the engine's cold, I can feel when it's not kicking in. Uh, I can feel it when like it's not pulling and all of a sudden it engages, but I'm going to replace it with a brand new one. I got a hold of one from a company called Battle Garage, and we'll see if it makes it run even better, because I've replaced everything except that. That was the one thing I wanted to just try and see if it was working okay or not, and it turns out mine was probably bad like everybody else's. Okay, till next time.